Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from Landmade Brewing, and they are based out of Poolsville, Maryland. And this is their Bugsy. This is their Fest beer for the year. I've had a couple of their beers. Um, I really like them. They are a farm brewery, as it says on the front here. Um, they make some really good uh, lagers and dark Czech style lagers, as well as uh, hazy IPAs, New England IPAs, so on and so forth. <clears throat> the other cool thing that I just found out, I don't know, about a month or so ago is the name that they use for all of their beers come from staff's pet names or even frequent flyer uh, pet names. Anyway, so uh, let's see, Landmade. This is 6% ABV. Um, I'm not sure, okay. I'll also say the canned on date before I read everything there. Canned on 9 23 which makes this 22 days old at the time of this review. It says, stay grounded. Bugsy is our traditional German fest beer comprised of German-grown barley and a touch of specialty malt. Fest beer celebrates a yearly German drinking tradition that we hold near and dear, and Bugsy is our way of bringing the Oktoberfest culture to the farm. Situated on 33 acres of pristine orchards and farmland, Landmade makes beer and ciders inspired by and sourced from the surrounding landscape, which I will contest to. It is a very pretty farm, especially if it's a nice uh, uh, summer day, fall day. For me, I'd say fall day. Um, they have nice like picnic tables out there they make some real amazing smash burgers they have the half smokes hot dogs all sorts of good stuff um on untapped it says the only additional thing is they mention it's hopped with hallertau mittelfru which i could never pronounce that it's, it's hopped with hops. <laughs> the Haller type. It's that traditional, like, Oktoberfest um, hop that they use. All right. I think that's all I have to say about that. So let's bust into it and see what we get. A little bit of Dirty Glass Mafia. Dang, and I also forgot I should have used my actual Landmade cup. Oh well. Yeah, especially with all that Dirty Glass Mafia. It's clean. I swear it's clean. It's just... It's not. <laughs> so, um... That pours out, I'd say, a dark golden color with just a tinge of orange to it as well. Also poured out, uh, in the beginning, it was about a full finger of white rocky head it is now such, since dissipated to about half a finger, and I'm watching it right now just like pff, dissipate in front of my eyes to the point where it's just gonna be clinging around the rim. Very carbonated too. Look at all the bubbles. It's a pretty looking beer. There we go. <laughs> Thought the camera was about to fall over. All right, let's get a nose. It's got a nice sweetness to it. Um, it's, 
and definitely a biscuity and crackery note. Um, it, it's kind of odd, like it's reminding me a bit of both. Uh, a touch of it, definitely biscuity, and another bit of it, I'm getting like a Jacob's cream cracker. Yeah, a lot of nice maltiness to it as well. Uh, sweet malt, a touch of caramel. <sighs> yeah, that is, that's smelling really good. Um, again, it's like a, a very light drizzle of caramel, but as I'm saying caramel, I'm actually thinking it's almost there's a faint hint of caramel there for sure, but it's almost more honey to me. So it's more like a, a drizzle of honey on um, a biscuit with a side of a cracker. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Actually, you know what? It's just so much more pungent out of this can. Very malt, very malt forward, but a sweet uh, honey malt. Um, and on a biscuit, like from the can, it's honey on a biscuit. Here I get a little more crackery notes with, um, with honey. All right, diving in. Cheers. That's a good beer. <laughs> this is a this is a very unique, I would say, fest beer. I'm really enjoying this after just two sips. And I keep going back, I'm like, okay, body mouthfeel, and then I'm just, I'm taken by the flavor. It's a lower side of medium body. It's, it's crisp. It's very uh, effervescent, very spritzy on the tongue. I'd say, you know, moderately high carbonation. I should have bought two four packs of this. Um, all right, the flavor. <sighs> One more sip. <laughs> Biscuity and crackery. It's almost like I'm getting biscuit flavor up front, and then midway through, it's turning into like the Jacob's cracker note unsalted and then throughout the entirety of the palate other than the finish there's this underlying sweet honey malt sensation like just throughout the entirety on the finish it finishes a bit dry which is making me if you can't tell, go back for more. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, all right. Landmade Brewing, a farm brewery. Their Bugsy Fest Beer. I'm giving this a 4.65 out of 5. Absolutely. This is, this is maybe one of my favorite Fest beers I've had this year. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below. What's your favorite fest beer so far this year? Um, and have you had anything from Landmade, and what did you think of it? Until next time, peace.